think they really do love him over there. And to lose a guy like this, it kind of brings the, more, the morale down a little bit. I know it's a business. There's not one bad thing you could say about the guy. He's just solid as they come, and he's doing well. Today, we are going to play the trade wheel player version. Sometimes you do the teams. Yep. This time we're going through specific players. Okay. So Where let's get through at least a few spins. Land? Yes. And I need a I need a destination for this particular player. I, I will also do this. There is an option that we can add to the 30 teams. There's a 31st option and it's called sitting still. Or I guess it's one of the 30 teams, mm -hmm. but that he won't get traded. We, yeah. we can add that. <laughs> All right, let's spin it. And we land on Mr. Anderson. Oof. Tyler Anderson to start. Oof. You know what? I'm actually going to let AJ go first on this one because we brought him up the other day, and I'm curious to see if he believes the report that we were reading from the other day. AJ, where do you think Tyler Anderson goes? I think the Angels are dumb enough they're going to keep him. That's what I think. <laughs> Yeah. They didn't trade Shohei. They won't trade anybody else. I think they're going to be like, oh, we're still in it. We're going to try and keep them. Oh, that would be a massive, massive mistake. Kratz, where do you think he goes? I think it's the Brewers. I think the Brewers, that's the farthest reach they can get for a starter. And he's available for now, or he's, he's under contract for next year, too. I think that's why the, the Angels want to keep him, which – Adds more value, but I mean, I, I hope AJ is not right. There's a lot of times where I hope AJ is right. This ain't one of them. To me, I think this guy deserves an opportunity. He's had some up and down seasons, but I think, to me, I think it's the Brewers. Hmm. Okay, what do you got? I don't know. I'm just going with the first team that came into my mind, and I'm going Cardinals. Just another kind of veteran guy to put on the team here a little bit. Four or five starter that could come in and – Easily with Lance Lynn and Gibson and Sonny Gray, to name the couple that are there that, you know, I know that are veteran status guys. I think he would fit in right there. And that's another – it's a lefty. Much, I mean, Matt's is still hurt, right? So, I mean, it's another lefty. Yeah, they that, need a starter. They need a starter. They need I, a veteran I, I, starter. I think that would be a very good fit for the Cardinals. I think it's a good call. I like that one. I was listening to Katie Wu on a podcast, our friend who covers the Cardinals, mm -hmm. and she brought up, Fetty and Anderson as potential targets for them. Mm -hmm. And she thought that they wouldn't have enough or they'd be outbid for Fetty. And so she said maybe Anderson, because they could take on the money too. It's not crazy money, but it's, he's getting paid pretty well. I'll throw one other team out there. Orioles need a starter. I'm trying oh, to decide where they'll too. go. I, I could see them liking Tyler Anderson. Kratz, he has... Not loving, maybe like... Liking. <laughs> he, he has, you know, in addition to the Arsenal working well this year, he has the sexy peripherals. Like, what was the stat I was looking at? It was one of the war numbers where he's just flying. So I, I could see the super analytical Orioles into a Tyler Anderson. All right, who's next? Oh, and thank you, Claudia, our superstar producer, for changing the colors. They are much easier to read now. Cool. We have bright summery colors. And Look we land well. on... Your boy, did you play with him? I did. Michael Conforto. <laughs> I did. Is he getting traded? I don't I don't think he's getting traded. No. I don't think so. I I think the Giants are going to ride this out and see uh, I I don't know. I I think he's just a glue guy, man. He's a he's awesome guy in the clubhouse. I think he fits well in the Giants organization. I think they really do love him over there. And to lose a guy like this, it kind of brings the more the morale down a little bit. I know it's a business, but there's not one bad thing you could say about the guy. He's just solid as they come, and he's doing well. He's doing well. He's, he's healthy, and he's ready to rock. When right. you say glue guy, what does he do, or what what was he like? I, he just as cool as the other side of the pillow, man, kind of dude. Like, anything you needed, he was always there. Like, he always goes with the flow. He's laughing, and he just – he's a guy you love to hang around, man. He just – he just goes with the flow. Mm -hmm. I like Tough it. to explain. Understandable. AJ, what do you think for Conforto? Gosh, after what we just heard, uh, again, I don't know that they move him. I think the Giants still think they're in it. I think once they get Ray and Snell and everyone back, and I think they still think they're in it. I don't know that they're going to make this move because I think the Giants are scared that if they wave the white flag, the fans are going to go crazy and Farhan might be on the hot seat. So I, I think this is another one that might stay in. We didn't mention this, but what about the Dodgers for Tyler Anderson? He did okay there his first time. 
Yeah, that's true. He really worked there. And then when he popped over to the Angels last year, he wasn't good. He picked it back up. But yeah, that's a good name. I like that. Um, Kratz, did you go yet? I just think I think the schedule the schedule dictates if this guy if this guy's moved or not. They're going to play after the break. They play Colorado, L.A., Colorado, and Oakland. Essentially, you're playing five, eight, eight out of eight out of twelve games that you should win. Obviously, you're not going to win all twelve, but the Dodgers series is going to be tough. There's going to be a lot of energy in that series. And I think if they come out, if they're eight and four in those 12 games, to me, they keep Conforto and he's just part of that team. If they're six and six, if they go, ah, you know, even if they're, if they're below 500, I think he's a guy that they move because I think this team is built on defense and maybe one of their other guys can <laughs> step in and be that defensive you know, stalwart for them that they wish they had in Lee in center field. And so they'll just like double down on pitching, double down on defense. So I think he could be a guy that's gone. But if they win it, I think they're going to stick with him. Yeah, I agree. I mean, obviously, if I'm saying I think they're a fringe playoff team, then I think they're keeping him. I just don't think they're subtracting an above average hitter from their offense mm. in that ballpark. You know, it, th that's the facts. They need offense. San Francisco kind of always needs offense. Some guys go there and their bat really dies. It's a, there's a confidence factor there. So it's his second season. I think he stays. Let's do one more. And then we have some news, too, that I just saw. Let's do one more on the wheel. I'd like to see Conforto and Cincy if he gets traded anywhere. I want to see him hit those sinkers backside all day long. Ooh. I like that. Here we go. Got to start AJ here. It's your boy, Eric Fetty, one of the best offseason signings by the White Sox. Where's he going? Because he's a lock to be traded. I know Crochet is a little more complicated, but Fetty's definitely getting dealt. I love the Orioles for him. He's pitched in Washington. He knows the area. I would love to see – I would love if you're the Orioles, go out and get him. He's a guy that can win games. He throws multiple pitches. He's locked in for another year at a reasonable price, and I think he's a guy the Orioles could really use. Mm -hmm. Kratz? St. Louis. I think this is St. Louis's chance to sign somebody that will be here for next year because their entire rotation is gone after this year. And St. Louis never wants to take years off of winning. So St. Louis. Good one. You're up. Pittsburgh. Is that one? Pittsburgh. Wow. <laughs> They're still in it, about four games out. I mean, you know, I forget that yeah. Pittsburgh could actually buy at the deadline. Yeah, I, I feel like. Jones going down here. I feel like that could be an easy, easy fill in there for another. They call that the three headed monster. They'd probably be the four headed monster then once he's healthy. So with Keller and Skeens, I mean, I, why not? Why not Good Pittsburgh? One. I'll throw the Dodgers out there. I think this could be the guy they land. I think they could try to pry Luis Robert too, but even if they can't get the whole package deal, they go for Fetty. They need reliable veteran innings. You know, like if you're looking at Crochet versus Fetty, I think we've gone over this, especially for the Dodgers. They need a guy that they know is going to be out there. You know, Crochet is more of a question mark yeah. based on not pitching a lot in the past, um, being a reliever. So I think the Dodgers look at certain players, target them, and can get them because they have the prospects to make a deal like this. And they know how much pressure is on the team to at least go far, if not win a World Series sure. this year. So I got Fetty for the Dodgers. We've got... Todd father with the the full setup so this is how the original manscaped kit gets sent and that's a nice message <laughs> your, there too your, your balls will thank you. <laughs> hey, it's your what is that your, your balls will thank you yes all right Good, dudes great kit so manscaped has their newest package the performance package 5.0 ultra that includes the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, which you can see in there. That's the big boy taking up the most space, not the model, two spots to the right of him. Okay. <laughs> it's the fifth generation trimmer featuring two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. Also has the dual LED spotlights to provide contrast on multiple skin tones, three length setting combs, and best of all, 
waterproof for you. So there's there's free gifts in there uh, behind all of the cool stuff that Todd Father was showing. There's the boxers and the shed travel bag. So you can get a piece of this. Join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with the exclusive offer, 20% off, plus free shipping when you go to manscaped.com and use code FOUL, F-O-U-L-20. It's summertime at Manscaped. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball the way it should be covered.